Hi everybody, this is Nick Lotus. I wanted to say thanks to those of you who have submitted stuff for free association on the first topic, play. I'm still looking for more people though. If you didn't catch the call for contributors before, there's a link to that video down in the description. Please do check it out and consider sharing something. And meanwhile, I decided to throw my ramblings on the subject into the mix. Perhaps for some inspiration for those of you not sure what to do with this prompt, but also just because I thought it would be a good exercise for me to do the same thing I'm asking of everyone else. I do want to stress that submissions do not have to be essays. They can take pretty much any form, as long as they follow YouTube content guidelines. I originally set a time limit of five minutes for submissions, but I realized after composing and recording my own essay that I was not able to adhere to my self-imposed time limit, so I'm going to increase that to 10 minutes. And of course, depending on the material, that time limit is even negotiable. It really just depends on what strikes you creatively, and if it can't be contained within that limit, then we can talk about it. I just chose to write an essay because I can't draw, compose, or animate my way out of a paperback. <laughs> Words are kind of my thing. Anyway, here goes. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. These immortal words of William Shakespeare apply to life in general because all of us have our own forms of recreation, making everyone a player of some kind. More directly related to the topic at hand, this quote connects Shakespeare's work in the theater arena to a pastime very close to my heart, performance. The term play when applied to theatrical presentation, can be very apt, but also an oversimplified description. It is, at its core, a perfect example of play. It's what we all do as children. We pretend to be other people in other situations. Those watching it also pretend, living vicariously through the characters and enjoying the cathartic ride through the story. Pretending can take us to many places and enable us to experience so many things. Putting that pretending on stage or screen takes that facet of childhood and elevates it to entertainment. In that elevation, however, it becomes more than a childish diversion. It becomes an emotional, sometimes life-changing medium for the people who participate in and see the production. What is hypothetically something silly and frivolous can easily become a transformative experience. For me, performing is an absolute delight. You make a bunch of friends who like showing off and acting silly as much as you do. You learn and grow together as a group, and you walk away from it as better people. However, putting on a play, at least a high-quality one, while a lot of fun, is also hard work. I've been on both sides of the actor-director dynamic, and I've formed one very firm belief about it. If there's not a point in the rehearsal and preparation process where the majority of the people involved hate the director, that director is not pushing the group hard enough. It is the director's job not only to lead her cast and crew members, but to demand excellence from every single one of them. Above all else, theater should be a joyful endeavor. But if you're just going through the motions, not putting your all into it, it's hollow, false joy. Nothing worth doing is always easy. You know you truly love something when you understand and respect that idea and push through the hard parts because in the end, it's worth it. As a radio personality and producer, I spent a lot of time doing things I considered play. I got to manipulate audio in fun ways, come up with clever turns of phrase, and find quirky music to play under my voice when I was talking on the air. It was not uncommon to hear the familiar tunes of Chrono Trigger or The Legend of Zelda. I even was known to rickroll my audience on more than one occasion. There were, of course, challenges, such as deadlines, editing issues, computer glitches, and the like. But while there were stressful moments, it never stopped being fun. Fundraising drive time was the most stressful, but sometimes the most fun part of the year. Everyone was going full steam from sunup to sundown to keep it all running properly, but sleep deprivation makes for some pretty humorous moments. At the end of the week, we celebrated our accomplishments and had plenty of great stories to talk and laugh about. The improv opportunities were plentiful as well. 
I made many, many puns on NPR funding credits to segue into giving the phone number and website for contributors at the top of each hour. I loved when I got to help pitch a music CD we were offering as an incentive. It was a compilation of several nautically themed pieces, including the main theme from Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, the high seas hijinks that ensued on the air that day. Yar! Now I'm an aspiring voice actor. I've landed a few roles that I'm quite proud of. I'm still developing my voice and trying to stretch my range. I also sing. Some days I record until my throat is raw and I still don't have a take I'm happy with by the end of it. I finish some recording sessions downright depressed that I can't get a character or a line or a song just right. But when I finally do get it, I knock that sucker out of the park and I'm on top of the world. Seeing a finished product, knowing your voice has brought a character to life, inspires a phenomenal feeling. As miserable as I think I am sometimes in the process when I hit a wall, the hard work ultimately pays off, and I don't regret the anguish and evenings of nursing hot tea for a second. I'm happy and feel like it's a game again. Really, it is. It's a game I play with myself. An ongoing challenge to see how much better a performance I can pull out each time. I've always been that way. It's what having a favorite type of play does for you. I say all of this to come to my final point. Play is a part of all people's lives and is necessary for mental well-being. But when you take something you love to do for fun and put your all into it, it becomes all the more fulfilling despite and because of the difficulties you may face in it. If I may end this essay as I began it, with a quote, In the words of Heraclitus, Man is most nearly himself when he achieves the seriousness of a child at play. When I'm performing, I am me. I am as serious and as happy as a child when I'm making others laugh or dance or think. It is my favorite form of work and play. And when I play... I play hard. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I really enjoyed writing it. Just thinking about, you know, my favorite way to play. So I hope you guys will contribute your own takes on this topic. The uh, email address for submissions is nicklotus84 at gmail.com. You can also send me a private message or a video response with your submission. I don't really have a deadline for this. I want to give plenty of time to get several submissions. I know that YouTube has a really bright, vibrant, creative community, and I'm excited to see what people come up with for this prompt. Anyway, I'm sure you've had enough of my jibba-jabba for this week, so see you later. Mm -hmm.